Hello, how is how's the YouTube boys doing? The YouTube frogs? Because uh, the Twitch frogs are dead. Because they're all dead from uh, all die all died from cringe. <laughs> how you guys doing? Hope you guys are good. Uh, well, and uh, yeah, so uh, it's already the month of May. We're almost halfway through 2022. So let's just get into it, eh? Hmm. I'm kind of looking forward to see what the fuck we have this time. <laughs> do we have shit to do besides FF11? Because uh, that's the thing I'm excited for. Is FF11, dude. Even they say it here. FF11. Oh my god. <laughs> Tower of Babel starts on May 3rd. Oh, what? <laughs> After this event, we have Tower of Babel. She... So that means we have a week of not doing anything. You, you will be able to see all rewards that you have not earned in a single screen. A new Perpetuity Ring, Sunlight Stone, Damascus Ingot will be added for Cloud Commendation trade. Oh, really? Wait. Is it up already? <laughs> Bro, wait, hold on a second. I didn't know that. Is it up? Can I grab it right now? Wait, where the hell is it? Oh, it's not there yet, you fucking scammer. <laughs> Ah, damn it! It's uh, it's only on that day. <laughs> damn it! Okay, fine, sure. That's great. I'm just waiting for that anyway. <laughs> uh, Zeno Coral rerun, rerun starts on May 7th. With a 5 star iron cap for the gun as well as a new mission rewards with AX skills on both the sword and the gun. I guess that seems to be like a... A very normal thing now, which is kind of I I which is kind of nice. I like that, but why Koro though? <laughs> Just in time for Guild War. Woo! Shit! A lot of I mean I I would totally see that a lot of people may actually need this, but they decided to do it after Guild War. Oh, who's that? I I never played FF11 before, so the event starts on May 9th. Oh shit! Complete character 1 tree to recruit uh, who? <laughs> Light character. The trust version of uh, Shantoto and Shantoto 2 will be the event summon in the shop. Oh. Lili Sete. I can't pronounce the names, all these FF11 characters. Just the crew after 3 4. More info to, of her to come. Okay. Yeah, I never played FF11 before, so I have no idea who the fuck they are. I'm just excited because I see Final Fantasy in the name. <laughs> That's all I'm excited for, okay? Wh whoever is wondering, I have never played FF11. I do not know anything about it. I don't really care. I just care because that's the the Final Fantasy tag in the collab title. That's all I care about. <laughs> Seeds of Redemption. <laughs> Seeds of Redemption will join side and side stories in May. The glorious mantle, which can trade for either Eternal or a Gold Brick, will be available for anyone who has not received one from the original event rerun. If you already have one, you receive 50 crystals. Yep. Shit fucking event can go suck a dick. Uh, Strom and Drang, a mercenary's life uh, rerun begins May 22nd. Fina's uh, Viva Vivacious party dress can be unlocked through the event's challenge quest. If you already have it, then the quest will be rewarded. Wait, I did I have that? <laughs> I, I don't remember. <laughs> Do I already have that? I, I mean, I, I guess I should because I don't I just don't use Fina, do I? <laughs> okay, whatever, I suppose. Uh, the next Indie series will be Atom will be fire. Oh, hey, what the favorite? Oh, he's a Cherokun. I see. This guy is a Cherokun as well. All right. Nice. So, uh, Sophia is going to be MVP here. Kappa. Extra drops campaign schedule. So now it's dark and then light, earth, fire, wind, water. Sure. We are currently in a golden week off fest. And then when what happens after it? Why then? There's another one. Wow. Starts on May 9th. One free roll a day. What? So we get shit for the 32 million download shit is uh, worse? We get worse? What? Where's my 10 rolls? SM Hedge. To celebrate the FF11 events, Collab Skyscope missions, uh, Brick Price with guaranteed SSR Proving Ground sticker dated 20. Oh. 
but plenty of rewards to reawaken for those who play the game. So I'm assuming we get like the... Because previously we get like sunstone and shit, right? I'm assuming we are at least gonna get a sunstone or a bar. At least one of them or if not two, that'll be great, right? But I'm very certain it's at least one of them. So uh, it's gonna be great. But I would think that we need to do far again, right? <laughs> Isn't it? It's very likely you're gonna do fucking far again, right? She. <laughs> Does that mean I have to fucking camp the goddamn raid finder again? Uh, I guess I'm so lazy to do normally. <laughs> and I'm sure you should too. If I can do it, you should you should be able to as well. So uh, just do it. Especially for those who are always. I do not have that yet. I gotta get that 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 full of ULB upgrade from my Vela badges. Oh boy, that's cringe, man. Dice of cringe. Please don't do that. <laughs> I keep telling you guys to not do that, but you <laughs> you guys keep saying I want to. Oh, you want to go fucking ahead, right? But don't tell me I did not warn you. <laughs> for like, I'm pretty sure a lot of others probably warned you as well. But you know. Win Uesis gets a 5 star uncap treatment. Wow, that actually looks kind of nice. Smilers! Damn, look at the smilers, man. Alright. She has a smilers. Where, where is it? See? It, 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 it's identical, right? <laughs> just. just <laughs> and now we have Uesis uh, Frog. <laughs> UEC's Pepe Frog, dude. <laughs> I was actually thinking they'll do something for like Earth or some shit, right? Because, you know, Guild Wars and... I guess they'll keep that for... They'll keep that for uh, June or something. June... June, the June uh, full of break is gonna be Earth or something. That's my guess. Alright, so the remaining 12 character rebalances announced in December 2021 are coming this month and will receive their own announcements too soon. Frau, Colossus, Eliza, Kugrea. Okay, I have all of them. Chat Noir? Chat? You guys getting another fucking rebalance? What the fuck? How many times you guys need a rebalance to be usable, man? God damn it, chat. You, gotta, you guys gotta get good, man. What is this? And Summer, Izmir, and Hesselia, dude. Okay, good. I have all of this as well. Except for that one. This this clearly this character is too strong and I do not have him. Earth is Ilsight, Eustons, A and Hersia. Okay, I have all of them as well. Surprisingly. <laughs> Miss updates. Miscellaneous updates. Coming in May 17th. An update to the raid host pop-up window. You can tap the host material and see the trade quest. God knows where, how long I wanted this as well, by the way. <laughs> God knows how long I've been asking for this as well. <laughs> right? Because, you know, like, for example, like, every, like, I've always... I'm forced to, like, always go back, go to the fucking serious shop just to grab my daily shiny hose or something. Bruh. Every time, man. Also, on May 17th, a treasure pop-up menu will appear on, on more treasure than ever before and materials for Assassin, Tormentor, Secret Gears, Gunsinger, blah 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 are specifically called out by the news post. As of May 17th, the game will no longer forget what party to use and whether you were set to semi-auto or full auto on a raid or quest. Previously, it wiped its memory after 14 days and now it was always remember. Wow! They got a technology, man! Sugoi! Wow! <laughs> They're not dumb anymore. They won't forget after a while. Oh my god. <laughs> they expanded the server capacity, dude. To remember all this. I can't believe it, man. Psyche's putting in money for server capacity, dude? The final major update on May 17th will overhaul Rupee Draw. Oh, so it's coming on the 17th. Nice! The new Rupee Draw will also draw items and treasure and CP. Instead of going straight into if What? Instead of going straight into inventory, the items will go into the time limit crate. Allowing you to draw more at a time and apply auto sell and upgrade. Why? 
can't you just auto do it from the thing? <laughs> right? Wait, hold on. Because the way it word it, it worded right is it will go to the time limit crate, so it will be in here, right? It will be in this page, right? And then it will allow us to do this, right? So here, here, here is what I'm thinking. Why won't they just let us do this on the page itself? <laughs> you can just do it here, right? It. <laughs> So, so it's like you're, you're, you don't have to... Like, yeah, exactly. You could just do it like event boxing, right? You could just do it like that. Isn't that like much easier? It's like you can automatically like... Because like, like what event boxing has... You have this button, wonderful button here that you can set to this shit. Which you could probably if they actually do this kind of shit for the rupee draw as well. Which I think will be so much better, right? So that way, it will never ever go in here! <laughs> and clog up your, your, your crate at all! Instead of you needing to... Alright, you know what, let's click this one by one every 20 or 100 or some shit. Clue do one by one, cling cling, cling cling, cling click 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 click. <laughs> Right? Am I reading that wrongly, chat? <laughs> Am I understanding this wrongly or is that actually what they're saying? Because it looks like, it really does look like whenever you click this, it will just go straight into the time limit, right? It won't let us do whatever I just mentioned, isn't it? <laughs> it, it it's so weird, right? It's like, it, it's, it's, you have that you, you have that already, right? Isn't it? Like, you have that, that shit. You know, you have that, 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 the mechanic already embedded into other set things. Like the event, for example, or, you know, like even uh, Guild War and shit like that. You already have those stuff already implemented in other shit. But why can't you do that on... <laughs> Right? It's like they are trying to take one big step forward, but they're taking like two to three big ass steps back. <laughs> you know? It's just <laughs> I, I I mean, yeah, I I I like this. But why are you not making it better? You're you you're already taking it a little bit longer to do it, right? Isn't it? But you could in the company <laughs> versus notes, don't care. Versus notes, oh Joe Sama, the fuck, I don't care. That's it. <laughs> yeah, merch shit. Yeah. Wow, look at that, man. Damn. Wow. A limited time placemat will be distributed. Wow, Sugoi. What is this? A real event. A Gurablu, Gur Guraburu Museum. Huh? Come in on July 30th in the. Da -da -da? A Grand Blue Museum. An interactive exhibit featuring the art of GBF. Is built as an experience more than an art exhibit. Featuring projection, sound, and 4DX special effects to add further layers of immersion. Wow. <laughs> so you see, they have money to do all this, right? But no, not not they're not putting enough money for for server capacity, right? Or you know, bet more people to to upgrade their shit, their shit spaghetti coding. <laughs> Three planned exhibits are previewed. One based on the game's main story, one based on Akaram, the invokers, and one based on Home Sweet Moon. I mean, yeah, this is gonna be like projection and shit. It's like, yeah, it looks cool and all, but I think at the same time, it's gonna be weird as hell. 
What makes the sky blue exhibit is also in the works, though the preview image is just one of the backgrounds and not a preview on the interactive experience. Grand Blue Museum will, go, will open for one month from July 30th and to August 28th. Ticketing and more information will be available on our official site at a later date. Alright. Who wants to bet that this whoever get goes to this museum will get a blue toilet paper? Who's going to bet? <laughs> What do you guys say that is very likely to happen? <laughs> I'm actually thinking that is going to happen. <laughs> it's probably gonna cost you like um ranging between maybe like two thousand one thousand five to like three thousand yen ticket or something. I think around there. Which includes you some fucking goodies and the ticket entry. And then also like some in-game like in-game shit that you can collect for your game for in GBF itself, including a blue toilet paper. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. See? Marketing, bro. Fucking marketing, dude. That's where they get their goddamn monies, dude. So they can uh that that for more reason for people to go to that stupid ass event. Or the museum thingy, I don't know. To celebrate 20th anniversary of FF FF11 and GBF collab, there will be a special live stream on May 14th, featuring FF11 diehards who happen to be in the cast of GBF. There will be talk show segments, gameplay introductions, and shenanigans. The cast, Babu. Anturia Pair Predator, huh? I see. Vera, serial producer and director. No Nakamura? Excuse me? What? But I, wait. Why no Nakamura? Didn't I see this the other time? Look. Look at this tweet. He's in here. Why is not <laughs> Nakamura don't go? Why why is Nakamura in here and not in here? <laughs> Bruh. I feel scammed. <laughs> Where's where's my 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 Nakamura man? <laughs> Feels bad, man. The show goes live on uh, what? Five PM Japan time, fourteenth, and the news post. Uh, there'll there'll be no in-game or news announcements on the stream. Time to skip. <laughs> yep, time to skip. Lol. I am not gonna bother with it then, because there we all know there'll be no relink. <laughs> No relink? Why bother? <laughs> this month looks promising, right? This month does look kind of promising. I am a little bit skeptical with some of the shit, <laughs> like the rupee draw and some other other shit. But yeah, the QOL stuff is kind of nice. I can't really comment much about the rebalance stuff yet. Uh, yeah, we get another fucking uh, shit, uh, Macfest shit, sure. And then we're also gonna get like the collab, more goodies and stuff. So that's great, right? So I can't really say no to that. I, I just think like this month is just gonna be fucking sick because we are actually gonna get a very very big ass collab right which which I don't know is we are not really gonna see that often right especially to GBF so I am really looking forward to it oh my god look at that screen man 4500 crystals unclaimed bro SMH man but yeah, this one is coming in like a few days, right? Yeah, two days. So we're gonna get that done ASAP and then we're just gonna ignore it again. Lol. <laughs> yep. You see, I'm also thinking like, what, why are they are also doing this? Like, they are, they are doing it on May 3rd, right? And then not too long after, they are gonna put it like concurrently or some shit. So why can't just this be like a permanent thing yet? No idea. <laughs> There's so many things they, they, they could have done. They probably are not doing it. Why? No idea. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I cannot wait for a collab to happen. So I'm looking forward to that the most. The rest, sure, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> so, uh, yes, for the YouTube frogs, frogs, till then, I will see you guys on the next video. Yes, uh, God knows when will that be. <laughs> Alright, okay, bye. <laughs>